For those of you that have been attending the Forge class, uh, here's a little homework assignment that you can work on. This is called the mill or milling, and it has to do with a single arm swing. Uh, this is a really great way to get into the counterbalance style exercises that go along with a lot of mace training. Um, so I'll demonstrate first. I'm gonna start in this kind of controlled position behind my head, and then I'm gonna cast to the side, swing in front, and then go back to that same position. And you get this nice continuous swing, the shoulder roll. So this is the mill. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you this in four steps. The first is just starting in this um, behind the head position. I'm starting here primarily because uh, this is where we wanna have the most control. So here, I wanna make sure that my elbow is, uh, is most close to a 90 degree angle. I don't wanna let it sag too much. So I wanna have a good grip on the mace in the middle of the mace. From position one, I'm gonna pull down to position two. From position two, I'm gonna cast the mace out and then let it swing. This is when you start really getting into the counterbalance part. When I swing, the important thing is to allow the shaft of the mace to be supported by your forearm. This is a really good way to save your wrist, uh, specifically if you're using weights that are heavy. And so it gives your uh, body a little bit more control when you do the swing, allowing the shaft of the mace to hold against the forearm, okay? So I'm gonna go from position one, pull down to two, swing, and then back to my shoulder, which is three. Here, I'm just turning, and then I'm gonna back to position one. So I pull down from position one to position two. I cast, making sure that I have good control with the shaft of the mace supported by my forearm. I cast it to the side, come back over my shoulder, then turn my waist back to position one. So one, two, three, four, and then back to one. If you uh, practice this, and over time, you can smooth it out. One, two, three, and then four. You might need to stop and hold and control until you feel like you can smooth it out. Get this good control, turn, and then cast again. This is the mill, okay? So it's really important that you keep a firm grip the whole time. Don't let the mace swing wild. Don't do this from a saber grip position at the bottom. Not until you feel more comfortable and you have the space for it. So again, starting with your hand at least in the middle in hammer grip position, starting in a controlled position behind the head, pulling down, casting to the side, back over the shoulder, then turn back to center. And then when you do that, you're gonna use that momentum to cast the mace out. And then continue that circular pattern. Enjoy.